Hi guys and welcome to part 4 of Angular with Firebase application tutorial. And on this part we are going to create our first component using the Angular CLI. So for that let's go to the app folder. And inside the app folder we create a new folder. We are going to name this folder components because here we are going to store all of our components. And by right clicking the components folder upon the terminal. Now, to create a component using the Angular CLI, you need to you need to generate it using ng generate or short g component and the name of the component. We are going to create the home component. So for that, we just write home in here. We see that the Angular CLI created the four necessary files for this component, starting with CSS file, HTML, and we have the TS file. After it created all these files, it updated the app.module.ts file. So let's go to app.module.ts. And here we see that the home component was created and it was configured on the declarations inside the ng module. So we can use it. To use or to run this component, since we have not configured the navigation yet, we need to go and declare this component as a starting component. So for that, go to the app.module.ts file and on the bootstrap property change this one to home component. This means that this is going to be the component that the application is going to start with. And after you have changed this home component in here, you need to go to index.html file. And inside this file, you are going to see the selector for the app component. But we need to change this selector from app component to our home component. And our home component selector is app home. So we copy this selector, we go to index.html and we paste it in here. We save the changes and we go to the browser. We see in here that our home.component.html view is loaded. So that's how you create a new component and you can configure it as the starting component.